Hello, and welcome to the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Berg, joined as always by Vivian Hudson. Viv, we got another special guest today, don't we? I know, we do, we do. So would you like to introduce this um, illustrious person? Yes, today we're pleased to be joined by Nancy Lavin with BioWave. And BioWave has a very interesting piece of equipment that is a great non-pharmacological alternative to using opioids to treat pain. Nancy, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Nancy, first and foremost, can you tell us about BioWave? What is it? What does it do? BioWave is a uh, medical technology that uses two high-frequency electrodes that alternate and create a low frequency um, that happens underneath the skin. And this allows the C fibers to be hyperpolarized, which actually blocks the pain signal to the brain. So it's a nerve block. So it really helps people uh, reduce their pain, but also help them manage them, their pain without using opioids. So traditionally, as a non-pharmacological option, there's been the TENS unit, but yours is called the PENS unit, right? <laughs> so what's the difference? How do they differ in the way that they work? Well, the biggest difference is in the name. Transcutaneous, which is TENS, goes over your skin. So the skin actually acts as an impedance. With pens, we're using percutaneous electrodes. So those 1,014 microneedles are able to penetrate the skin and go down into um, the deep fibers. But the biggest, the biggest um, difference is that pens does not go into deep tissue. So in order to block the pain signal to the brain, that low frequency that both pens and tens has needs to happen underneath the skin. And that's what BioWave bio does. It creates that low frequency underneath the skin. Right, so you mentioned like microneedles. So is that painful to the patient at all when they apply it? Not at all. It actually, it, the electrode pad will feel like Velcro. So it's, it's not an irritating feeling. And then it's almost like a smooth sensation with the electrodes. You're putting the electrodes over the pain point. So that might cause a little bit of discomfort when you're using, when you're placing the electrodes. But other than that, the treatment itself is not painful. So Nancy, if I'm understanding this right, they, so this has little tiny needles. This is how I understand it. There's little <laughs> tiny needles within the electrodes that will penetrate the, the first layer, the epidermis, and bypass, bypass the impedance of the skin so the signals can pass directly to the nerve. Is that, okay. that okay. So I, I've actually used a TENS unit before. I was having some back issues for a time and they give me a TENS unit. I mean, it has kind of an interesting sensation, but once I took it off, there was absolutely, it didn't do me any good after, after I took it off. The effect of BioWave should last up to about 72 hours. It will determine uh, how high the patient brings the treatment. The unit's very simple to use. It has a plus minus button. So during the 30 minute treatment, the patient is encouraged to bring uh, the, the technology, the, the treatment up to as high as they uh, can get by just pressing the plus button. So the higher they, incre the higher they get the treatment, the longer the um, BioWave will last in reducing the pain. But we've really seen about 75 to 80 percent of the people. It's about 72 hours, and it's a cumulative effect. So if you're to do able to do the treatment every other day, it will you know last a little bit longer. Right. So is it uncomfortable for the patient for them to actually do the treatment? Because I know like with a TENS unit can be a little bit uncomfortable. So is this similar? Uh, it is not uncomfortable at all. And it's very simple to use. The MA in the doctor's office puts the electrodes on. You turn, you push the button. The unit's already set up for a 30 minute trial. The patient controls the strength by hitting a plus or minus button. At the end of 30 minutes, it's done. And it's a very comfortable feeling. It almost feels like a deep tissue massage. Oh, nice. I need some of that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so, Nancy, can uh, go ahead, Viv. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, so what are some of the additional benefits then to the patient, obviously, besides getting the feeling of a deep tissue massage? <laughs> Well, the biggest benefit is that um, there will be blocking the pain signal to the brain. So it's kind of like electrical novocaine. Um, so if they have to go to physical therapy, it's going to help them go to physical therapy. Um, we've had a lot of success in the VA where we've had the veterans who maybe it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's time to take a pain drug and they use BioWave instead. So therefore, it's going to replace that. Um, so BioWave will help someone uh, rehab if you're going to physical therapy and if it's very difficult uh, to do that because it's too painful, BioWave will block that pain so you can do physical therapy. Uh, we've had athletes where it helps your range of motion. Uh, we've had veterans that have reduction in opioid use and help them get back to um, active daily, li daily living activities. Viv, I'm stealing, and Nancy, I'm stealing that name, by the way. If I ever start a heavy metal band, Electric Novocaine. That's just got a great <laughs> ring to it. I like it. Um, Nancy, can you unpack the economics of this? What is this covered by insurance? Are there is there revenue available for that that physicians can capture? There's great revenue uh, for physicians to ca uh, to capture. Private pay does pay for BioWave obviously depending on the payer. A um, majority of payers do have a policy in place for pens. Most payers are giving up anywhere between six and 12 treatments. Private pay will pay for spinal pain only. However, Medicare and Workman's Comp will pay for BioWave and you can use it on any pain point in the body. Um, we've had a lot of success on Workman's Comp where the patient does six units of the percutaneous electrode treatments in office, and then they're able to get a home unit issued with the non-invasive electrodes through Workman's Comp. So uh, we actually have a great service in-house where we will create a business plan for practice and showing them how they can make money using BioWave depending on the different payers they have and what are their in-network or out-of-network. So I'm guessing that one of the main specialties that would be interested in this would be pain management and obviously with the, the scrutiny on the opioid crisis, I would imagine that this kind of device would be gaining a lot of doctors' interest. So is that your experience and also which specialties would you target? So I would definitely target your pain doctors. <laughs> Many orthopedic practices have a pain doctor specialty. So definitely go to them, our physiatrists. We've had a lot of success with physiatrists, but also uh, with the surgeons that use a spinal cord stimulator because many of their patients do not want to go to surgery. Um, so therefore, that patient's about to leave the practice. But if they could offer them BioWave before they did the spinal cord stimulator trial, then they will get the revenue from BioWave but out of those five patients that are um, good candidates for surgery, after having BioWave, three of them most likely will move on to surgery because they like that what ElectroStim can do for their pain. We've also, one of our larger practices happens to be a primary care doctor. Nancy, are there any other added services or value adds that the manufacturer offers beyond just supplying the device? They just give them the device and say, here you go? Or what are they actually supplying to the to the physician? So um, we are primarily distributed through 1099 reps. So we work with those type of representatives that are servicing the account. So they will go in and treat the paid, help um, train the individual to use BioWave. We also have a pre-authorization process, so we will do the pre-authorizations for the practice, make sure that they're billing correctly. And then we also have a new service that develops a pro forma or a business plan for the practice, um, depending on their payers, on how they can make money uh, by using BioWave, um, you know, showing them how they can create ancillary revenue. Well, Nancy, this is great information. Viv, what do you think? 
I think like it's got to be a great solution. As I said before, with the opioid crisis uh, at front and foremost, and it's even appearing on the political agenda, it's got to be something that is a valuable tool for 1099 reps to have in their bags and and give these patients and the, the doctors uh, a different option that's going to be a non-drug based option. So I think it's a winner. Absolutely. Nancy, I know you you think it's a winner. <laughs> I definitely think it's a winner. <laughs> well, Nancy, I want to thank you for your pain. <laughs> I, I want to thank you for your time. And if you are listening to this and you are interested in promoting BioWave, please get in touch with us. You can call us directly, 888-315-1519. And be sure to follow our new Twitter account. We have a Twitter handle is, what is it, Viv? You've been working on every ancillary. Every <laughs> Look ancillary. up every ancillary on Twitter. <laughs> and you can get all the ancillary industry news that you're looking for. So thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you.